Hello, it's Thursday, it's nine o'clock. I'm Joanna Gosling. Welcome to the programme. The police watchdog has warned of a real possibility that Brexit will trigger a spike in hate crimes. It says victims across England and Wales are being let down by police. We did find that there was an inconsistent and patchy picture across the country. One in ten girls in the UK are unable to afford sanitary products. Campaigners say having a period is leading to financial stress. If it's winter, you use your socks, gloves, hat, anything, tissue. If it's the summer, socks, anything. You don't rely on anyone else because you can't. Plus, worries that pupil referral units cannot attract the right staff, leading to concerns about the education of the most vulnerable of children. Good morning. Welcome to the programme. We're live until 11 this morning. As you'd expect, we'll keep you across all the latest breaking and developing stories. And do get in touch, as ever, on everything we're talking about this morning. We're particularly interested to hear your thoughts on a warning that police need to do more to combat hate crime. A major review in England and Wales has found victims have been let down after being targeted because of personal characteristics such as race, religion or sexual orientation. Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabulary found that in nearly half of the cases it examined, the response wasn't good enough. Some cases recorded on police systems were given a hate crime flag without any apparent justification, while others weren't flagged when they should have been. We're interested to hear your thoughts. Have you been a victim of hate crime? How did you feel you were treated? Do get in touch. Remember the hashtag Victoria Live. And if you're emailing and are happy for us to contact you and maybe to want to be part of our discussions on the show, please do include your phone number in your message. If you text, you'll be charged at the standard network rate. Our main news today, the new Brexit Secretary Dominic Raab will meet the EU's chief negotiator in Brussels for the first time since his appointment. His visit comes as the European Commission is